CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.1 Compare and Contrast Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP, and User Datagram Protocol, or UDP, ports, protocols, and their purposes. TCP versus UDP. In the last video, we touched upon various network protocols which fall under the category of application protocols. Application protocols in networking dictate how data is exchanged between applications across a network. These protocols enable different software applications, often running on different machines, to communicate and share data seamlessly. To facilitate these application protocols, transport protocols like TCP and UDP come into play. These are more fundamental protocols that handle the actual process of data transmission over the network. They work by breaking down the data from application protocols into smaller data packets, transmitting these packets across the network, and then reassembling them at the destination. In essence, they provide the necessary infrastructure that enables application protocols to function effectively across diverse network environments. Although TCP and UDP share the common role of being transport protocols for network data transmission, their approaches to performing this task differ significantly. I will start by explaining a bit about TCP, also known as Transmission Control Protocol. When a device sends information using TCP, it establishes a connection with the recipient using a process referred to as a three-way handshake. This connection process is just like a phone call. You want to make sure the other person is on the line before you start talking. Once the connection is established, TCP checks whether all data packets are received and in the right order. If something is missing, the protocol is designed to request a resend. This check process ensures complete data integrity and guarantees data delivery. UDP, or User Datagram Protocol, on the other hand, is more like sending a postcard. It's fast and efficient, but doesn't guarantee that the postcard will reach its destination. UDP sends packets without establishing a connection, making it faster but less reliable than TCP. It's used when speed is more critical than accuracy, like live video streaming or online gaming where receiving data quickly is more important than getting every single packet. In conclusion, our exploration of TCP and UDP as transport protocols in networking reveals distinct differences in their functionalities. TCP is connection-oriented, establishing a reliable connection before data transmission, ensuring guaranteed delivery. This makes it ideal for application protocols that require data integrity and security, such as HTTPS for secure web browsing and SSH for secure remote connections. On the other hand, UDP operates in a connectionless manner where data is sent without establishing a connection, leading to non-guaranteed delivery. This is suitable for applications where speed is more critical than reliability such as DHTP for network configuration and TFTP for simple quick file transfers. Understanding these differences is crucial in choosing the right protocol for specific networking tasks, balancing the trade-offs between reliability and efficiency. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.